Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you an interesting property of the von Margold function. Now if you check in the link in the description below, I'll show you how we acquired the values of different values of n for the von Margold function. So, so the interesting property is log of n equals the sum of all the divisors of n. So this property here. Now what does this mean? So I think we should just go into an example straight away. So for example, let's look at log of 18. So that will equal the sum of all the divisors of 18. So when this letter here is the capital lambda, Greek letter of the alphabet. Okay, divisors of 18. So the divisors of 18, we've got, we're going to need one Margot function for 1. 2 goes into 18. 3 goes into 18. 4, 5 doesn't, 6 does. 7 and 8 don't. So then we're going to need 9. And then the last one we're going to need is just 18. Okay. So we'll evaluate all the von Margot functions for each of the divisors and then we'll sum them up on here. So log of 18, hopefully, is going to give us our answer. So that is how we're going to sum them up, all these. So von Margot function for 1. Well, 1 is 1 to the power of 1. 1 is not a prime number. So if we haven't got a prime number, take the value 0. Actually, you better put an arrow there. OK, 2. So 2 can be a prime number for the base here, P. So 2 to the power of 1. Okay, as long as k is 1 or more. So in which case, the von Margot function for 2 is log of 2. Same for 3. 3 to the power of 1. So we get log of 3. 6 is 2 times 3. So we can't get uh, n to equal p to the power of k in any way, shape or form here. So in which case, that would take on the value of 0. 9, well 9 are in log, that's a perfect square. And the square root of 9 is 3, so 3 squared. In which case, we then get log of 3. P is 3, K is 2, so log of P, which is 3. And then 18, we can't take the square root of 18 with any remain, with, without having a remainder. So in which case, I just say it's 2 times 3 squared. In which case, it takes the value of zero. Okay, so now we're going to sum up all the uh, von Margot function divisors for 18. So we get zero plus log of two plus log of three plus zero plus log of three plus zero. Let's keep that separate. Okay, so now how do we do log 2 plus log 3 plus 0 plus log 3 and so on? Well we can do the log property. So all the zeros will be cancelled out, cross them out, and then we end up with log of 2 times 3 times 3, which equals log of 18. Log of 18 equals log of 18. There we go. So we've proved this property here for the von Margold function.